hi guys so today we are talking about money okay it's a very sensitive topic but we have to talk about it because the reason why we want to get on board is to make money and uh, i've been getting a lot of questions uh, regarding surrounding money working on board is it okay for me to leave my job to go work on board with this kind of salary and so forth so we are going to be talking about that. We are also going to touch a little bit on some uh, position that you can apply with uh, no or minimal experience and uh, also answer like a few questions that I've been getting. Those are frequently asked questions from you guys. So let's get into it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paulina or Travel with Duo. And on this channel, I talk about travel or how you can immigrate to another country without using a traveling agency or a consultant. So as I said, uh, today we are talking about how much a do cruise ship uh, company pays. And remember, salaries might differ. Uh, because different companies pay different and uh, but we are going to be doing an estimate okay it won't be like the actual salary but it will be an ex uh, estimate of how much people get while working on board in different uh, like uh, position so before we get into it let me thank you so much guys for always supporting me watching my video commenting uh, giving these videos uh, thumbs up and all that so if you haven't been doing that please do so uh, subscribe start by subscribing like this video uh, leave a comment and also watch until the end that's the most important thing so uh, I have some notes here and uh, before even we get into this there's a question that I've been getting frequently lately before i never used to get such questions but nowadays uh i think a week can't go without me having like two or three people asking the same question so that is what i'm going to read so there's someone who asked me pauline uh I'm working in a certain company and i'm getting uh this amount of salary I will not mention the actual amount that the person is getting and uh, i recently applied for a cruise ship job and i got a job offer but i'm not sure if i should join uh, the cruise ship job because the salary is the same as what i'm getting where i am okay uh, i also have another person who asked me the same question I also have another person who told me like uh, whatever the cruise company is offering to her is less compared to what they are getting at that uh, particular moment and uh, I didn't know what to answer to them because you see when it comes to cruise ship job uh, most people apply because they are looking for opportunity to go and work abroad others are applying because they don't have a job at all others are applying because they want to have that experience of traveling okay so we all have different reasons why we apply for these jobs and because right now most people have knowledge about cruise ship jobs and most people know that it's no longer like a scam it's true you can apply for a job online uh get your visa leave to go to the u.s to work on board cruise ship job so many people have been doing that and uh some of them are lucky to get jobs some are waiting to get jobs but now the question is eh? and i would love you guys to leave a comment and tell me how do you feel about this so for example let's say where i'm working right now i'm being paid like a uh, hundred k let me see so what happened sorry about that i didn't want like the advert to appear uh, so uh for example i'm getting paid a hundred k where i'm working and then i apply for a cruise ship job i get a job but the offer that they give me is the same as what i'm getting so for example i'm working in kenya i'm getting 100k and i have applied for a job let's say like round attendant. i've gotten a job offer and they will be paid me 100 g's okay so should i leave where i'm working to go work on board or should i just continue working uh, because the salary is the same 
so with this question i don't know how to explain because we all have different reasons as i said of why we want to go and work on board but uh think about um uh, think about it this way uh when you apply for a cruise job if you get shortlisted one you'll have you will get a us visa a us a c1d visa i know it's a it's not a land it's not a land like visa it's not a visa that can allow you to stay in the us but at least it will help you go to the us and then join the cruise ship okay but imagine after five years because it's a five five uh, five years visa if you're from kenya i don't know about other countries but in kenya we normally get a five-year visa so after that five years when you're going to renew you can ask for a b1 b2 visa and they will give it to you uh b1 b2 it's kind of two hours like you can go and stay online for example if you're working and you have the two months that they normally give people to go home and rest you can uh, decide to stay in the u.s than going back home that is after maybe those five years and you've renewed and you have been able to get the b1 b2 secondly having a u.s visa in your passport also creates uh creates what trust with other countries because these countries are somehow connected ask me why when you have a canadian visa it's very easy for you to get a u.s visa when you have a u.s visa it's very easy for you to get a canadian visa and vice versa when you have like an europe visa and so forth so they're somehow connected they want to see how good you are and uh, if you're this person who is going just to work and coming back home without uh, like breaking the immigration rule you know we have people who morife when they get there that means your history is okay so the moment you go to reapply again most probably they will give you a visa and you can also apply for the visa like you can apply for a visa uh in other for other countries that you might wish to you might wish to go secondly the other advantage of you like working uh, joining the ship despite them giving you the same salary is like you get exposure you get to experience different uh things okay you get to experience not only about money but you get to experience have another view of things because of course you'll be working you'll be interacting with different people from different backgrounds different countries so you are learning but uh at the same time i have people who would say i'd rather stay home because i don't see the need of me like uh, going to a uh, like six months or nine months contract and then coming back home and i'm not sure if they're going to give me another another contract to continue working on board so it's kind of sticky situation and i would like you guys to give your thought on that if you're planning to join a cruise ship if you're already on board or if you're just a person who like watching me you can leave a comment on the description box of this video so uh so such are questions that always make me uh like i don't know what exactly to tell you as a person because again there's a reason why you're applying for this job uh, apart from that uh, now let's get into like uh, how much do people get uh, today i'll only be talking only i'll be talking about the salaries of those jobs that don't require a lot of experience or requires many more experience or no experience at all because those are some of the positions that you guys who are not in the hospitality industry or those people who haven't worked in hotels big hotels can still apply get job get on board have cross training learn and still work you know i've seen people who have gotten jobs went uh, on board and really killed it like really did well and these are some of us uh, positions that they didn't have experience at all but apart from that i want you guys to understand that working on board is not easy like you're going to work for long hours you're going to work like retry working so even if they tell you like you're going to to be traveling all over the world and so forth remember you have to be very hard working and uh those who are on board already they can bear me witness you need to be very much hard working so let's start with the most common one and that is galley steward galley utility all that like a uh, kitchen porter 
uh, kitchen steward. These are people who work in kitchen to clean dishes and all that stuff. So that is like the least paying job on board cruise ship. I'm not sure <laughs> if you're being paid less than that, you tell us. Leave a comment there. Tell me a position that pays really a small amount of money on board. And another thing, now despite this position not requiring a lot of experience or having not requiring you to have experience is like you're going to work my friend i have a few guys who are already on board and uh well i remember one of them texting me and telling me pauline tell those people who are coming to work here as galley steward or kitchen steward to come <laughs> prepared because it's not easy you're going to stand for hours you're going to work for hours and it's not easy because some of these cruise ships are huge and uh, meals are served every now and then and you need to clean all those things so you have to be a strong person and that's why i don't re normally recommend women applying for this specific position i normally won't like um what do you call it i normally recommend men to go and work and especially young men not like people who have like a lot of years okay sorry I had someone walking. <laughs> uh, so this uh, position, depending on the this specific position that is kitchen steward, depending on the cruise line that is hiring you, the average salary is um, five forty to eight hundred US dollars. Okay, so it's five five hundred to eight hundred US dollars, depending on the cruise company that is going to be hiring you so uh that's not a small money to some it's small money to some it's a lot so it all depends on you as a person and i'm sure most of people who are applying for this job they just want to get on board some of them are very much experienced some of them are even have done bachelors and all that stuff but maybe they cannot find the position that they really they have they have experience in um, on board while still on land so they want to join and then when they're there they can navigate to getting the, the um, their dream job so this is one of the jobs that don't require a lot of experience or requires no experience and uh, the pay is not that much but it's okay okay so if you don't have anything that you're doing or if you're looking for a job and you can't find one I would recommend you apply for galley steward position and remember uh, the process of you joining a cruise ship it may be long or short depending so you have to be very very patient because you might go through the whole process and then you have to wait for them to send you the ticket you might go through the process and maybe get denied a visa and you'll have to reapply you might go through the process and maybe wait for a very long time before they give you an interview. So it's a process that requires a lot of patience and you have to be very, very patient when deciding that you want to go and work on board. The other position I'll talk about is assistant server. I know you need to have some knowledge about serving because it's a lot, it's a lot that is involved. But this is one of the positions that you can apply as an entry. It's kind of an entry level positions for you guys. And uh, depending on the company that is hiring you, the salary ranges from 800 to 2000 USD dollars. So it depends with the company that is hiring you. Uh, that is all that, that matters. So it's something that you can, for ladies who are trying to find ways to to be on board you can do even short courses i always encourage people to invest on themselves there's so many courses uh, on allison that you can go and study certificate or diploma to uh, help yourself gain that uh, to 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 understand more about like service because there's so much that is involved despite it uh, being an entry level position you need to know you need to know okay so the other the other position that uh, doesn't require a lot of experience or it's something that you can go and train and then apply for it's aquatic attendant this is like those people who work in the poor areas you're not a, like a lifeguard 
you're just there to arrange the seeds make sure that the, the water has the uh, right amount of like treatment and all that clean the area make sure there's no trash if there's an incidence of maybe a, a spill or something you won't report so for that specific uh, position uh, the salary ranges from 700 to 1200 okay it's a good position for both men and women and it's kind of an entry level position if you might ask me because i have a few people who have joined and uh, they had never worked as aquatic attendant they just did their own research knew what they are required applied for the job killed the interview and now they're doing it well they're doing well on board so this is an also another good position because also you'll be able to to have like one-on-one -on -one interaction with the guest it's not like now the girly steward where you're in the kitchen you don't have one-on-one -on -one interaction and you can't even get tips like it would be really hard for you to get that tip when you're in the kitchen okay uh, so the other position that you can apply for it's a stateroom steward this is a person who cleans like you're cleaning the rooms and the areas and all that stuff this is also a position that you can apply uh despite you not having any like um what do you call like experience i hope Munani understand what i'm trying to say because these are things that you can learn if you know very clean your place you can do this <laughs> okay and the salary is not that bad it's because it's uh it ranges from 1100 to 1500 depending on the company that is hiring you some ca some company will even pay you uh 900 okay but uh it's you to get an opportunity to get on board from there there you need to work yourself up there you need to change the position if need be maybe after your first contract or your second contract and you know the good thing is that the moment you join the cruise ship in case you decide to apply in another company, you don't need to redo your visa, especially if you're from Kenya, because you have five years before you redo your visa. So it will be easy for you to apply, and the other cruise company, they will hire you uh, easily because they see you have some experience, okay? Uh, there are other positions that you can apply for, like, like what? Like bar server and stuff but you still need to have knowledge in uh, like uh, drinks and uh, beverages so guys i don't want to make this video very long because it's kind of <laughs> conversation that you're having but if you would have if you have any question or if you'd love me to talk about something else regarding a cruise ship job i'll definitely do that and uh purpose purpose to apply for that job be patient don't worry about salary if you're looking for an opportunity because especially those who are not working if you're working and you feel like whatever they're giving you is small well and good you don't have to but if you don't have a job and you really want to get on board these are some of the positions that you can start with okay start with them get on board uh do what you have to do uh, during cross training try as much as you can uh, to to get where you want to get okay and another secret ukiweza kujipendekeza jipendekeza in a good way okay unaona venye mnasimanga ati sijui hawa watu wa kutoka huko south east asia wanapenda kujipendekeza you need to do that how do you do it by doing your best if you're new on board, not just this working and a bit Autaki kutumwa na mtu. They will send you, and that applies in anywhere you go. If you're new in any company, they will send you. Hi, Pauline. Niende kitu flani. Eh, niende fanyi. That happens. You guys know even in real life, like uku home, ama wapi. Wherever you go to work, when you are a newbie, lazima. They will t they will he they will help you <laughs> know the, the ways. So kubali nyenyekea as long as no one is who is misusing you be polite be friendly you don't have to like someone 
but be friendly always okay you don't have to like me but if you're working together lazima tuskizane you have to be polite to your colleague and all that stuff and that's how you build a relationship and that's how those people unaonanga wanakuanga hivi pamoja that's how utaona mkenya ameenda amekunywa amefukuzwa lakini kuna mtu wa huko kwao anakunywanga but hajaifukuzwa una so you have to stick with with each other wacha kusema atupendani tunaweza pendana kama wa Kenya and i'm wishing you all the best if you're looking for a job be patient utapata and uh, start somewhere okay despite your experience this despite your education background start somewhere and uh, thank you so much guy for listening to me uh, it's not easy to listen to someone for 20 minutes or so anona so give this video a thumbs up leave you uh, uh, leave your comment on how you feel about all this uh, all this conversation and then uh, subscribe and share i love to do another next time uh, with another topic uh, we we'll also talk about like jobs in thailand and other places and uh, we'll see how things goes so thank you so much guys see you in our next one